Well, tie me up and drag me under. So you're the one the Navy's hooked into finding Gallows End and killing dead Kel. It's suicide. Really? Ask the others. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can't. But don't worry about them. Like my mother said, don't weep for the fallen. Even if they could hear you, they wouldn't care. He's the worst of the worst. A villain who truly enjoys the pain he inflicts. He's a slippery one, though. Not even death can catch dead Kel. I'd love to be the one to bring him in. Maybe then I'd finally get some respect. You know, the other applicants. Dead. All of them. All of the ones they found, that is. Plenty of others just vanished. One poor fellow was found cut into teeny tiny pieces. They needed a bucket to pull all of him from the surf. But don't you worry, we'll have a fine voyage. It is the mysterious island fortress of dead Kel and his crew. Why? Do you know how to get there? Because I have no idea. I was hoping to figure it out as we go, but I'm starting to wonder if that's a good idea. Flattery will get you nowhere, unless I've had too much to drink. Then I'm afraid to say it'll get you all sorts of strange places. I shall not elaborate. Tari and I are ready when you are. He's the fine first mate on the ground next to me. Words aren't his strength, although I'd be pressed to say what is exactly. I found him after I was forced to maroon my last first mate on a desert island. That man became obsessed with me, probably because we had sex. A lot. Only what you want with you in case of an emergency. There aren't many merchants where we're headed. Seeing as I don't believe in navigation, I'd have to say no. Not at the moment. Not to worry. Once you've wrecked enough ships, you get the hang of it. Ready to depart, my vessel awaits. You'll find her both swift and seaworthy. Just don't go down into the hold. There's a leak down there. It's big. I'm predicting an uneventful voyage. We might even get bored. Off we go, then. Trust no one. Except me, of course. Sailor true, when dead Kel's ship 